Do you feel the pressure? Hey guys, what's up? I am Truff and in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to make this water bomb based tessellation. Earlier I posted a time lapse for this tessellation so I will just teach you how to make this tessellation in this tutorial. For this you will just require a square sheet of paper and we have to first make a water bomb base. I have made the water bomb base so now you have to again unfold the paper, paper and divide this part into half from all the four directions I mean here 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 and here so you can do it by just folding the paper in half and again dividing it into half Now I have divided the whole paper into 4 by 4 grid. Now again I have to make the water bomb base with the colored side up. Here. Now on the base of the crease that we just made by dividing the, paper, the, the half paper into half again into half we have to fold the single flap up just like this but as you can see that the model will not fly flat so we will just fold this flap down and make a diagonal in this square so just do it like this I repeat the same step here. We need to make sure that we make a nice step on this point. Here. Now repeat the same step behind. We have to uh, fold the single flap, the single layer of paper up on the base of crease starting from this point up to here. But now again you can you will see that the model will not lie flat. So we have to fold it on the diagonal that was already made by the diagonals that uh, were made during the water bomb base. So right here. We have to make a new crease from this point up to this point. So just make a nice sharp and clean crease. I repeat the same steps on all the other four flaps. Here we have folded the basic base from which we will start making the pleats here. These pleats we will start making right now. So now what we have to do, we have to just make the paper a bit smaller. So what we have to do is fold the paper in half from all the sides not like this but from the points up to the center and just fold them in like I have done this so I have to just open up a bit only one layer and fold it down right in there on the basis of the creases that we just made see Repeat the same steps all over the behind that I will be showing you just now, right now. So do the same thing. We will take this step up to the middle point. For making this origami, I'm just using a plain printing paper and I just painted it. So you you can use any kind of paper that is thin for this purpose.
here. Now just take a single layer and open up the model a bit. Now we have to make an inside squash thing you say here in this case and we have to highlight all the four creases that were made by the fold that we just made. So I'm just highlighting the creases and now we have to fold this whole square in. So just push this point down and it will start taking the shape of a water bomb base when you look at uh, when you look at it from the down so just do this and uh, yeah. make sure you have a nice tip on this point and all, all the four points basically right now repeat the same step uh, same step on this flap so just open up a bit and highlight all the four basic creases and fold this into a water bomb base Now I take this flap and fold it up to the middle point. You will notice that it is just the half flap that we made it here. So just fold it like this, both the cases. And open up it a bit and push it in. Do the same thing here. I'm showing just you look at a close view. Just open it up with a single layer only. Push it in on the basis of the creases that we just made. Now we have the steps we did here, we have to repeat all those right here. So just get into it. I just completed the basic things that we did here on the back side. Now just fold this whole layer down. Now we have to squash this wall, this whole part inside. So just we have folded this flap down and we have to take this point up to the middle point. So just do it very carefully as there are many layers starting from these two points the paper might start getting thick from this point so now we have to fold this in but now we cannot open the paper as such so we have to hold these two flaps and push pull it away from each other a bit So the paper expands the Now we have to highlight the basic four creases, the boundary creases. Yeah. Yeah, now just push this point in. Make sure you got nice points on these two, these two parts. Yeah. Now just fold these two flaps up. Now we are remaining with these two flaps. So just fold one layer to the left. And do the same thing behind. One layer to the left. 
now take this point up to the middle point. Now just fold it in. Do the same thing behind with this flap. Here. So now from here we have to start squashing the paper. So I will just sh show you with only two units and you have to do the same thing with all the flaps with each and single flap each one of them so let me show you how to do it take this point up to the middle point just look at it carefully very very carefully and fold it nice squeeze now if you take a close look you may find a bit of edge here you can see a bit of line passing so now you have to take this point up to the middle point here of the small square like this now unfold these two folds and take the single layer from both the sides so this and this right now um, on the base of this line this crease fold these two layers down right just like this and we have to squash this small square on the base of this crease so just squash these two layers down push these two layers down and just poke your finger in here and squash it the paper might get locked like it happened in this case so you have to open it by unfolding a bit so just unfold it a bit and make a nice crease do the same thing here as it happened with me yeah. now make a nice squash see it resembles with this wrap here let me show it to you once more Time. We just fold this flap down and this point up to this middle point of this square and just take single layer from both the sides and fold it down. Now poke your fingers in here and square the paper. If the paper gets locked, unfold it a bit and just make a nice crease. Now, now do the same things on all the four flaps on all the four sides. Here we have three flaps and here we have four flaps on both the sides. So just repeat the steps. squashing all the flap <coughs> now what we have to do we have to take every single squash here 
and fold it in half. Not in this way, we have to fold it backward. So just like this. If you're using a thick paper, it might be quite tough for you, but you have to do it. Yeah, just like this. I repeat it on all the flaps right there. Completing folding the flaps. One of my flap got teared while folding this, so you have to take care while doing this step. Now here comes the most tough part of this tessellation. Now what we have to do, we have to open up the origami a bit. So just open it, open it a bit, just a bit and put your finger in the cavity right here now as you can see you can uh, there's a square water bomb base for forming right in there so you have to just put your finger in there and squash it so, so that the middle part of this tessellation lies flat so just put your finger in there and squash it you have to push on this tip as well a bit you can even use your thumb if you want it here you, here you can see a square is formed by squashing the paper. Now you have to repeat this step on these four paper parts. So now just open it a bit, putting a finger here and just squash it. Here you can see there is a flap remaining, so you just squash it, rough. Now just repeat the same step on these three flaps. Okay, I have squashed all other three. Are you ready to see the tessellation? final tessellation so here it goes da -da. here we have made this water bomb based squash tessellation I just added the squash because there are a lot of squash in this tessellation so here you can see that every single squash we made If you like my video, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.